Oke, okay, ada. I'm back. I'm born again. Ladies and gentlemen. Previously on EMC's The Walking Dead. Oke. Okay. Oke, okay, I'm gonna turn off the command. Oke. Okay. Oh. Nah, nice. Oke, okay, now this is very challenging, you know. This is very challenging step. I think the flash is a bit off. Um, okay. Okay, now. Now, 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 now. Is a very challenging one. Yeah, the first step, remember, the second step, the third step is the carving, yeah, doing carving. Wait, wait. I'm gonna adjust the light. Ah, nice. Okay. So remember the the rules of carving is just creating a gaps between each cups, big gaps, yeah, and then you make it close to each other. Yeah, big gaps and then you make it close to each other. So don't worry if it join, yeah, but because eventually you will create a gap with your instrument. So. I will introduce you to all of you the very very magic technique yeah this is called a dart technique yeah maybe some of you is a bit confused yeah it's a little bit confused how to do carving in this situation so I will introduce you to the dart technique yeah dart technique so instead of you doing scratching like this yeah this is the wrong wrong this is the wrong thing yeah It's the wrong thing. Okay, I'm gonna put it back. So the dot technique, basically, all you need to do is just to create a three or four dot, yeah, before you scratch, before you uh, separate the the composite. So it will easily to make a very thin separation. Okay, I will give you example here. Yeah, I will create four or five dot here. So this is the, my first dot, second dot, third dot, fourth, five, six, six maybe yeah. Okay, dot, dot, dot. And this one also dot, dot, dot. So remember this is dot technique yeah, dot that or stabbing technique just step 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 just like you're doing aerobic you know step 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 now it's way easier for you to do scratching yes scratch yeah with the guidance of the composite that already set yeah don't don't put in this way put instrument in this way instead you doing this you do based on the cups that already set yeah like this with the guidance of the composite this this cups yeah you just start drawing yeah So dot technique is just creating dot, stabbing, and then draw like this. Yeah, it will easier for you to create a very very thin separation. Otherwise, if you only use just scratch or just draw it, yeah, it will make a very big separation. Yeah, remember. You have to create very thin fissures here, so your restoration will be more, more natural. Understand? Nice. I know you you answer that question, yeah. It's easier for you to create separation now. Remember the dot technique, okay? See, 
it's very easy because you already create a separation when you are doing that technique or stabbing technique and just remember it's even easier if you have magnification it's very fun to do restoration if you have magnification yeah see until all the gaps is really really obvious it's very obvious until the gaps very obvious here yeah don't stop until the gap very obvious yeah see now you have a big gap what you need to do now is take your magic brush yeah you can dip it with the micro a eh, micro uh apa? modeling resin and then just touch it feel like when you are touching your son your baby your girlfriend your wife just feel it touch it gently just touch 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 it gently remember the idea of creating a gaps and make it close to each other right until it's very thin yeah and i repeat if you have magnification it's way 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 easier so don't hesitate to get your new loop to get your microscope because it will change your dentistry yeah i bet it really really change your dentistry yeah that's a very the biggest investment okay how about the secondary anatomy um i think you can easily create secondary anatomy you want me to put secondary anatomy okay i will put it i will try it but it's even easier because i only use I only look it in the camera, yeah. So, same technique, yeah. You only have to do separation like this. See, and make it close to each other okay the idea is the same ah i think i destroyed my anatomy yeah <laughs> in real life in real tooth it's very easy you know i repeat if you have magnification it's way way easier it's very fun you know that's why i miss working you know so doing restoration doing feeling is just like this is my very enjoyment enjoyful moment you know so i really miss my working yeah it's just like my comfort zone yeah when doing when doing feeling restoration okay i think i think we have to cure it yeah otherwise the life will be last until tomorrow the important thing is i want all of you guys to understand the step you know because i want to simplify all the step i want to simplify to all of you my way you know i want to introduce you to my way yeah this is not the best way i think yeah but it will add uh, to your preference so maybe you have another technique but i think there is no the best technique yeah you you choose you pick the one that that suits you best yeah if you uh, enjoy to do this thing or you enjoy another technique yeah it depends 
on your preference ya yeah. karena ya nambal ya nambal gitu gitu aja nambal ya yeah. <laughs> because yeah feeling is just a feeling you know remember the first step ya yeah. I will repeat it again maybe 100 times ya. Yeah. So you will not forget what I told to you. The first step is you take a big amount of composite and then place on the cavity and then reduce and then press follow by uh, follow the cup's inclination and then you cut back or reduce uh, with the guide of the cups, you know. And use the cup as your guidance to remove the, <coughs> the excess. Don't worry about the joint of joint, uh, the composite joint here. Don't worry, yeah. Don't worry. Just, just relax. Just relax. Yeah, this is the first molar. Remember, five layers. Okay. How about the second <coughs> step? Second step is very easy. Yeah, all you need is your magic brush. Dip with the modeling liquid or a bit of bonding. Yeah, it's very thin of bonding and make it well adapt. This is very important, you know. If you see my post, my Instagram, You wonder maybe why there's no dust there because I can polish all the surface because I have very flat very smooth surface so that's why there is no dust trapped inside the fissures so it's very important this step is very important yeah <coughs> the third step is carving take your magic instrument yeah i have a friend who get used to uh, use uh, explorer just the usual explorer to carve it's okay you know there were there is no yeah there there, there is a saying that there's no there's a my uh, i forget the, the the saying you know um there's the the important thing is the man behind the gun something something like that lah but i think in my opinion you know the gun is still important yeah the gun is still important yeah so you have to choose you have to pick the gun that you that suits you best yeah if you so don't ever trust with the uh, the expensive one oh maybe with the expensive one i can create a very good anatomy that's a biggest biggest lie you know the best instrument is the, the one that you have and the one that you get used to Yeah, that's the key. So I get used to this instrument since I was in my university. So yeah. Remember, create a gap. Yeah, create a gap with a dot technique. Okay, after this life, you remember about the dot technique. So maybe in your sleep, you will be dreaming about the dot technique. Yeah, just remember a dot technique or step technique. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nineteen. <laughs> Actually, it's not important to how many gaps, how many dots you create. Yeah, the idea is to create a smooth separation first. Yeah. And now time to draw, yeah. Just drawing, drawing, yeah. Not like this, like not like uh, this. Uh, don't uh, make your uncured resin as your guidance, yeah. But make your cured resin next to the the uncured resin as your uh, guidance to create a drawing, yeah. Can remove the excess here. And then draw. You know, it's very simple, very easy. 
don't worry about the big gaps don't worry about anything yeah you don't have to worry about anything everything is gonna be okay okay make sure that you have space good space for a dice uh, dice to like distal cups so inggris dice to dice to aduh maklum ya ini lidahnya lidah jawa barat ya <laughs> okay um draw ya yeah. just create a draw here drawing drawing yeah this is the idea why you have to do dot technique ya yeah. if you create a dot technique it will so so much easier to use to create separation see and then make it close to each other by using brush again and again brush yeah only the tip of the brush this is why I love Tokuyama brush you know because you can use this tip kena <laughs> sini Okay. <clears throat> Now time for my magic light cure. Tup. Now last layer. Yeah, last layer. Ah, <sighs> akhirnya. Finally, this is last layer. Okay, the last layer. I will repeat it again and again until you already bored with my word. But it's okay as long as you can remember all, yeah, because that's what I want to deliver. Yeah, I want you to make it as good as me, you know. Or even better. Okay, put a big amount, and then reduce slightly. Yeah. In this step, maybe you can jump directly to brush. But the bigger excess you have, the harder it gets to reduce only by using brush you know so I'd like to reduce it first with the condenser the ins this instrument with the plugger and then don't forget the second step the second step is your magic brush So please, for this brush, just don't try to use a different brush or another brush. This is the best brush, I think, from now. For now, I see a little bit a uh, hair here. I don't know what. Whose hair is this? <sighs> hair is sucks, you know. Just like Corona, It sucks, you know. Okay. Make it well adapt. Okay. Make it well adapt. <clears throat> And. And then the third step is your magic instrument. Just remember the dot technique. Create a 
dot uh, where is it dot 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 step 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 and then draw 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 Actually, I think this is first smaller to, but it's okay, yeah. Because the position is the first, eh, the second smaller, yeah. The I will make it first smaller. It's okay. So remember the dot technique, yeah. Just create a three, four, five, or six dot before you scratch that composite before you draw the you draw the 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 composite so you will have a, a very thin very thin uh, separation between each cups okay if you get used to this technique you can easily create a secondary anatomy you know but i want you to understand about the the primary anatomy first okay after you do it over and over again you will eventually get used to this technique and then you can improve yeah you can do improvisation you can create a muscle you can create a bulky anatomy a good anatomy a very very aesthetic anatomy okay so this is my magic wait i have to make sure the 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 the, the uh, where's the brush okay i think it's a bit excess here it's okay okay here uh, this is satisfying sound from the light your tat tat try to move it closer you have glycerin uh, you can use glycerin yeah if you have glycerin you can do five second cure yeah you have to do initial cure and after that put the glycerin and then do the last cure yeah the longer cure so glycerin is you can Im uh, you can use glycerin to improve uh, polishing ability of your surface and for a good uh, for a better polymerization yeah so now how to put a stain so this is the trick you know oh wait <laughs> wait 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 ah. <laughs> uh, okay this is the trick sorry i'm too excited <laughs> i'm so excited for all of you so yeah this is the trick This is the trick, yeah. Before you do staining, I would love to do polishing first. I don't know because in my in my analogy, in my logic, if you have rough surface, you have rough surface. Let's say it's because uh, yeah, because it's uh, it's just it's it's, it's not uh, uh, polished yet. The surface is a bit it's a bit uh, grow, uh, rough something like that if you place the stain yeah the stain will re will will uh, close or will, will retain on that rough surface so for me i would love to use polishing first i would love to do polishing first yeah my polishing system is only this one just like posterior uh, just like interior Wait, wait, wait. I have to open this first. Why it is so hard? 
so this is my polishing instrument yeah this is my polishing instrument dicom if this is a very mind-blowing instrument for polish you know you can easily polish anything by use dicom if and the, the 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 good news is they have also a specific if for posterior so i really love to use that yeah so do polishing first until all the surface flat and smooth and then place the stain yeah because i don't have a micro motor here so just imagine just pretend that the 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 tooth is already polished yeah already flat already smooth and then put a stain so where's my stain this is my low viscosity stain from coltine if you have it in your clinic yeah it comes with the with the tube just like a model in resin here yeah but i want it to be in the syringe so i move the liquid into the syringe just like this and then i change the tip with the etching tips with the etching tips so you can easily put that stain material on top of that restoration yeah this is very 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 important yeah because you see it uh it will create a little bit gaps here yeah i'm afraid that it you just leave it yeah maybe in the follow-up there will be a micro food impaction there and the patient will slightly feel uncomfort so make sure that you put that you close all the gaps that you already created with a stain or yeah i have i have a good uh another another way to place if you if your patient requests to not give a color on the tooth maybe you can use flowable transparent yeah the transparent flowable is it's better especially when let's say the, your patient is a dentist maybe or your patient is a is a is a maybe it's a uh, yeah who person who not into natural brownish look to uh, you can use tr transparent pole flowable okay just take this low viscosity stain i would like to say low viscosity because if you put it on the surface and you put in the tooth it will easily yeah it will kind of sub leveling yeah it will goes underneath yeah easily without you spread it out yeah let's see don't worry just put a lot of it don't worry okay and then instead of use micro brush you know micro brush is a little bit pricey right so don't waste too much brush here instead of use brush i would like to use a cotton here cotton palette maybe i don't have any tweezer here actually but yeah oh my god i don't have tweezer here uh, it's okay okay you can use your cotton here pardon me for not having a tweezer here yeah you can use tweezer and then you can wrap it just like this wrap 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 yeah even better if you have tweezer yeah just trying to remove all yeah if you have already create a correct fissures yeah whatever you try to remove all the stain this is impossible because the stain already enter goes through the underneath of the restoration to close all the gaps yeah so whatever you try to remove all the stain it will not happen 
because your stand goes underneath yeah it will not remove all the stain see how natural it is yeah you can change the micro brush and then you put okay i will take the brush here see no matter no matter how you how tr how hard you try to remove all the stain it will not happen because it's already trapped inside it's already trapped inside you already create a crack fissures it will trap inside it will stay there forever maybe some of you already have a question uh, if you already doing a polish there will be a dust there yeah if you do uh, it, if you do it like my way here so i do polishing first and then put the stain how to remove the dust you can easily use micro brush yeah dip it in water and then you just uh, rub it with your micro brush or if you have sandblast or aqua care or something like that you can use only the water the water yeah. or you can use only the air yeah just blow with the air yeah okay okay and then magic cure Okay, don't forget to, to cure the stain because stain basically is a composite also. Okay, this is your stain. This is your very thin stain. That's the important of use stain or use another layer of composites. Yeah, for example, maybe flowable. Okay so if you have any more question maybe you can write uh, your question down below yeah i will have we will have maybe 10 minutes question yeah q a and then after that done okay thank you so much and this is the result okay thank you thank you so much okay uh Let's flip the camera. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, ah so tired. Whew. Okay, uh, Q and A. I think until nine PM. Okay, just remember, yeah, I have a summary here, actually, I have a summary, I already write it for you, you can take a screen picture here, this is very important, this is a summary of our lecture, of my lecture here, yeah, posterior carving is only about creating gap separation and try to make it close as it can to each other cups, yeah, First one, first step, take composite with the instrument, big amount, reduce it gently, make it well adapt, brush, remember the dot technique, yeah, and using stain is preferable. If you're not using stain, you can use transparent flow, done, okay? Okay, take a screen capture maybe, okay? Remember, this is our summary, yeah? Please, please, please make note, yeah, note this yeah just understand this okay whoa i received so many questions here please save your life okay How do you make sure that you position your central force correctly, respective occlusion of patient? How do you make sure? 
What is their high points? When to check the high points? Please save this live. Okay, composite brand fleece. Are you using iPhone mobile for recording? Yes. Do you polish with or without water? Without water. What instrument do you use to carve dog? I already said about that, yeah? This is my custom instrument. Do you use SDR, SDR or different material for first step? Yes, I often to use flowable. Whoa, 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 so many questions here. Around 70 question. Hi dog, what's the name of the brush again? Tokuyama, can save the life please? Of course. What about preheating composite? No, I never use preheat, preheat, yeah, I never use preheating composite. Is uh, we'll found it very hard to carve the composite if you preheat it first. Kalau ganjal, gimana cara ngurangnya biar tetap jaga bentuk anatominya? So the idea is, you know, uh, I always say it uh, in my seminar, you know, there is no way to avoid occlusal adjustment. There is no way to avoid occlusal adjustment. What you can do is just to minimize the occlusal adjustment. Yeah, if you have skill to create occlusal filling 10 in a row without occlusal adjustment, I will start worship you. Yeah, because you must be God. It's very, very, very impossible if you want to avoid the occlusal adjustment unless you lucky. Yeah, unless there's no antagonist. So what you can do is to minimize the occlusal adjustment. How? First thing is to you have to understand, you have to be very sensitive with the occlusal anatomy, occlusal character. If the patient is very old, yeah, let's say it's like around 70 or 60, avoid to create a very bulky anatomy, very muscular anatomy. Yeah, just create a flat one with a very, very sharp fissures, very obvious fissures, and then put a stain done. Yeah, you have to check the occlusal first, check the occlusion first. Take your articulating paper, get your patient to to bite the the mm, uh, articulating paper and then see the high points take your camera and then remember the high points yeah and then just avoid uh, to create uh, more excess on that area yeah and and then you have to use brush yeah just to make sure that you follow the cups inclination yeah the idea is if you pass if you go over the incline the increase uh, the cuffs inclination it will lead to high points so make sure that you follow the cuffs inclination okay that's two way to minimize occlusal adjustment after polishing inclined by water should we etch bone before us ah good question uh, i think uh, i forget to mention about that so you see the dust uh, uh the uh, the composite surface already contaminated by the water and the, and the uh, dust you can easily put a bone a very thin bone yeah or you can put a silane there yeah silane you know silane uh, the one that you use for indirect treatment indirect restoration silane or what you can uh, what you can call a uh, silane silane i don't know yeah you can use that you can use that also or you can use thin bonding yeah just put it on top of the surface and then put a stain okay please do another demonstration for complex class 2 of course i will do it yeah i will do it also for the interior i will create live interior how to build tooth from scratch from radix yeah from hopeless tooth just like you see in my instagram yeah Please take this live, of course. Thank you so much, Doctor. You're amazing. Thank you. You perform dentin ceiling. Yes, buka kian aja di dok di story. Ah, saya nggak ngerti ini gimana ya bukanya tuh. Pokoknya saya tadi udah baca sekilas, saya udah scanning rata-rata. Itu sih pertanyaannya ya. Which brush are you using? Tokuyama brush. Pewarna komposisinya. Uh, then in any paint or paint on color brown from Coltine. Can you save video? Of course, I will save the video. Polishing brand if from Germany, Daikom if, but the brand the brush. How do you ensure good occlusion? Checking it first by articulating paper. 
Aduh, I think went to check high points in the initial ya. Yeah. Oke, okay. oke, okay. oke. Okay, just remember ya, yeah. I will create a live demo for interior. How to build tooth from scratch ya, yeah. from Radix. Just like you see in my Instagram ya, yeah. I often to do restoration tooth from scratch, from nothing. Oke, okay. um. oke, okay, I. I think it's done ya yeah? because I have to uh, yeah because I'm sorry because uh, uh, my voice is a bit I got a bit a short a sore throat yeah so maybe my voice is not clear enough um thank you so much for your attention see you for another Lex life yeah don't forget um, the point that you already that I already delivered to you yeah Maybe you can take screenshots one more time, yeah. This is it. Please remember it. Please, please, please remember it, yeah. This is the summary in this life, yeah. For another life, I will create interior class two everything, yeah. I will create everything, and I will. I want to simplify all the case. I want to simplify all the subject so that you can easily um, uh, understand about everything yeah in the eye of the clinician yeah maybe you will not see too much theory here yeah i will do it in the eye of the clinician yeah tips and trick everything okay thank you so much thank you obrigado gracias thank you so much bye bye stay healthy keep safe yeah stay at home